Welcome to the January update. Today, we'll be taking a look at some of the best games coming to the PlayStation Vita this month, as well as recapping all the most recent Vita-related news stories. A little over four years after its launch, Minecraft PlayStation Vita Edition has officially received its final update in the form of the Nightmare Before Christmas mashup pack. Alongside the PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii U editions of the game, Minecraft on Vita will no longer be receiving support from developer 4J Studios. In less than two years, the Nintendo Switch has officially surpassed the Vita in lifetime sales within Japan. Last month, the number of Switches out in the wild in Japan surpassed 6 million, whereas the Vita, which has been on the market since 2011, currently sits at around 5.9 million. An interesting article by Kotaku's Ethan Gatch highlighted the fact that, while in sleep mode, the amount of hours you can get out of your Vita before needing a recharge expands exponentially. This isn't exactly news, I just thought I'd mention it in case anyone watching didn't already know. There are seriously stories on Reddit of people leaving their Vitas on sleep mode, not touching it for over a month, and coming back to find it still packing a few solid hours of battery life. Pretty useful info for anyone regularly bringing their Vita on commutes. Online game distributor Limited Run Games has sadly been forced to put 10 of their physical Vita releases on hold due to a shortage of game cartridges as 2019 approaches. Until another publisher besides Sony steps in to assist, the fate of these niche games hangs in the balance. Lastly, Atari just recently decided to drop a collection of games on Vita, just in time for the holiday season. The compilation, known as Atari Flashback Classics, comes with a collection of 150 games dating back to the 70s, spanning multiple Atari consoles and arcade machines. Some of the most notable games in the collection include Asteroids, Centipede, and Missile Commander. The collection also features full trophy support and online multiplayer, and even includes the option to use the Vita's touchscreen as an alternate mode of playing. Atari Flashback Classics is now available digitally in North America for $19.99. With all that news out of the way, let's take a look at some of January's most promising Vita releases. First up, we have Pick of Picks Pieces, a picture logic game in which you create pixel artwork by completing puzzles, eventually creating a beautiful mosaic when all is said and done. The game features some 300 plus puzzle grids, which come together to form 20 pictures and will reportedly be getting feature content on a regular basis in the form of DLC. Pick a Picks Pieces releases digitally in North America and Europe on January 8th. Next up we have War Theater, the latest title from Mecha Wars and Plague Road developer Arcade Distillery. Like Mecha Wars, War Theater is a turn-based strategy RPG in which you earn gold to continue customizing your forces. The game is actually set in the same universe as Plague Road, only hundreds of years later. In addition to a refined progression system, the game also innovates through its hero units, who can lead your armies with special abilities. The game also features PvP online battles, and its multiplayer is cross-play compatible with the PS4 version as well. War Theater is set to release on Vita digitally in the US sometime this month. In addition to Pick a Pick's pieces in War Theater, there's also a couple visual novels releasing on Vita this month. However, seeing as how they're exclusive to Japan and their names are well beyond my abilities to pronounce, I've decided to simply list them in the description if anyone is interested. Which brings us to the end of this month's update. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, this has been Fixation.